Audra Moore is actually out at the National Weather Service office in Valley, and uh, she's got some of the latest information on what's going on this week there, Audra. Yeah, Ryan, I am out here at the National Weather Service office in Valley, and I'm here with meteorologist Brian Smith. And now we get our watch and warning information from the meteorologists out here, and then we push it out to the public. That is one of our roles as broadcast meteorologists. And since today is Terminology Day in Severe Weather Awareness Week, just wanted to check in and let people know what the difference exactly between a watch and a warning is. Well, a watch means that conditions are favorable for severe weather or tornadoes to occur. Doesn't mean anything has happened yet. And usually a watch will be in effect for two to six hours. Uh, and it covers a large area. So during a watch, you need to watch the skies more, watch the television closely, watch your, your uh, smartphone or tablet closely, or go on the internet to check the uh, update on the weather. Now, warning means that something has happened. Uh, either meteorologists here have detected that there's a possibility of a tornado or severe thunderstorm based on looking at radar information or based on information from, from storm spotters or law enforcement personnel out there. So when you get a w warning, that means that you need to go to a place of safety right away. All right. Well, thank you, Brian. Thanks for... Uh having us and for making that difference so that we all know exactly the difference between a watch and a warning. Again, out here in Valley, I'm meteorologist Audra Moore. Ryan, I believe you have a few more terminology words for us today. <laughs> yeah, I do, Audra. I think Brian just stole my thunder there, though. No, he did a good job explaining it. We kind of went over this this morning. Uh, big thing is when we get a watch, it's just a heads up. That's when, obviously, you, if you have your weather radio, you stay tuned in to the National Weather Service. Keep it here at 3 News Now. Uh, it's just kind of your early game plan, your early heads up there that it's possible it's not happening. Then when, as Brian was saying, the warning is you got to take that serious. Uh, tune in, get the latest information, get to your safe place, preferably a basement, uh, whether it's thunderstorm or tornado warning. And then obviously we'll give you the latest on that. So uh, that means it's happening or it's about to, as he was saying there. So that's kind of the big thing today, and it's very appropriate. We talked about severe thunderstorms versus regular thunderstorms. Uh, quarter size hail or one inch in diameter larger or winds of 58 miles per hour or greater. And that was very appropriate this morning because we actually had thunderstorms move across the area during the morning drive.